Does growing your own food actually save you money? Now, this is an argument that I have read probably hundreds of times, particularly when people can be quite hard up, like at the moment, during the cost of living crisis, even during the pandemic, it was all over the papers. But it really doesn't stack up as an argument. So let's just imagine that I already have a property with a garden and I already have this bed, which would have cost probably hundreds of pounds to put together. And all I'm paying for are seed potatoes. Seed potatoes are expensive. They can cost nine pounds per kilo to grow. Now, admittedly, for every kilo of seed potatoes you put in, you can get a tenfold return on investment just a few months later. Imagine if the stock market worked like that. The tricky thing comes when you actually compare prices. Because if you look at supermarket prices for ready harvested potatoes like this, they cost roughly the same as the seed potatoes you would need to grow them. You basically save zero money at all. However, things do change when you pick different crops. So potatoes are very difficult to grow in general and very cheap to buy. But there are crops that do the reverse, that are very easy to grow and expensive to buy. A classic example is something like chives. Chives gram for gram in the supermarket can be 50 times the cost of potatoes, and they are ridiculously easy to grow. If you plant a single chive plant once and just keep on top of the watering, for the next 50 years, you'll probably have more chives than you'll ever eat. 